Well, welcome back everybody. We're still working on this bell saw. So, as you can see, I came up with one of those. Um, I got thinking about it and I thought, you know, this is dumb. I've been having that thing out there for I don't know how many years, hanging up in a building, never have done anything with it. And I always say, Jesus, if I ever need parts, you know, I don't want to sell it. Well, here I am, I need, I'm needing parts and I'm not smart enough to take them off. Well, I, I decided, you know something? I need them, I'm gonna use them. I don't have a lot in that mill. Um, and it's a more modern mill than this one. This one here runs on the old round track and the one that's out back runs on the inch angle iron track. I believe that one was bought brand new in 1980 and it sawed enough wood to build one cabin with. I know the history of that one. Um, anyway, we've got this stuff. I've got two gears, got a spare one here. So this is where I can't make up my mind today. I don't know if you can see that, but those aren't exactly aligned. I don't know if you can see those. Probably they blend in too good. This, uh, this set here, they're both setting on the keyway, by the way. I got it driven into, it's just caught in the keyway. This side here is to the left just a little bit. And of course they are on there backwards. This one normally will be on the other end. So in both keyways are cut, you know, in parallel. So I don't know if that was done intentionally so that there is, when you're pulling a heavy log with, tor you know, with a load on it, if there's enough load down here to put some torsion in this rod, I don't believe you'd ever twist that rod by hand. Um, I think stuff would settle right out. So I think it's just, it didn't get done exactly right. So if it didn't get done exactly right, my theory is, leave that one alone. This one here is like way off. If I can get it to start, right there. This one here you see is right in the middle. So what I'm thinking about doing is just rotating it, you know, about that much and line it up. And I will take, actually, I'm not gonna take that one off. I'm gonna use these two. What I'm gonna do is take the one that I wanna use, which is gonna be this one, and I'll take this one, set it underneath, and I will align these perfectly, like so. And I'll use this to start the brooch with. And that way I can brooch them so that they're in line with each other. Well, I figured I might as well put this actual set works together. I'm not gonna put the gear on on the end, but I've, uh, I've got the Woodruff key in. Trying to get this. Kind of like so. I think that's probably about right. Put the set screw to it. Yeah, of course. I'm only going to snug this a little bit right now because if it's in the wrong spot, I don't want to have the shaft all mad up. Pretty easy when you're using a new shaft. Now, we'll put this over there where it belongs. This, uh, One thing that's a pain to do on this is to get this right here put in there. You have to set it on over here, bring it up, and bring this one up. 
and ova. And then you put the bolt in. Which I may go get a new bolt for that. I don't know, that one ain't really acting like it's doing all how it should, but I guess it's gonna be alright. We'll use a Yeah, how's that done? Got to do it in that order or it will not work. Then this goes. Which way do we go? I think it goes like this. It does. So, this goes. So, okay, got this knee here all cleaned up. So, we'll slide this right over, like so. And get some stuff brought back up here. Get that bolt in there where it belongs. Flat washer and a lock washer on the other side of that. Oh, that's a cheap. I hate these cheap lock uh, flat washers. But that's all right. This isn't too high tech a rig anyway. We get a couple of nines tight. I can hear Carol upstairs with the dogs. She's up in the wood room. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, still turns. Beautiful. So. I'm not going to put the arm and the spring on here for right now, but that is how it goes together. Get this up here. Yeah, see I moved that gear over about an eighth of an inch. That only goes in about eight or three sixteenths. So it don't go in as far as it did. Now uh, later on, I will put the two gears on. I don't have them broached. I'll broach them either tomorrow morning or sometime. And then we'll drop the two gears on. Then we can put all the 90s, the stuff that holds the actual brackets on, so they don't pick up. Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar with these, I'll show you what that looks like. So that right there is the old style. And this is what they've come up with for a new style. A little different. So anyway, this is how them new ones go on. The old style, you just held them up by hand and tightened them while you held them. These ones here, you can actually put a little bit of pressure on them so that they can't back down. And they work real good. I'm gonna build another one of these. Um, I stole this off that one out the other way. This set works right here, I didn't come with one. So this one came from out back. So I will make actually two of these. Well, one of these, I gotta make one of these. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go. But I'm pretty happy with what we've done tonight. Um, yeah. So, one new shaft sticking out. Got plenty of room to put the gear in, get the key in afterwards. This one here, it's lined up about right. Key goes all the way, just barely. But it's enough we can get to it and oil it. So, yeah. And I see something else there today. Um, this one here, you know, I was worrying about that keyway going in and, and wearing on the bush in here. Well, you look, the, this is where the gear was. And this right here is where it turned inside the shaft. They had the whole thing inside there. So apparently it don't make much difference. As long as it's not hitting that brass pin. 
which I don't have in there yet. That one was missing the pin. So anyway, that's going to be it for this tonight. Um, one more thing I'm planning on doing to this bell saw that I've never seen anybody else do, but I get aggravated with them. Underneath each one of these channels where the wheels are, there's a grease fitting. <clears throat> Pain in the ass to get to. So what I want to do is weld a little tab here, about an inch and a half. Probably six inches long. Maybe eight, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I'm going to run a line, brake line, up here, come over, and come up. This one here, the same. And that way you ain't got to run your damn grease gun down around the back side. I'll probably have to put a rubber hose in there because those pieces move a little bit when you go forward and reverse. They don't rotate the shafts, but they do they do twist a little. So probably we'll have to go with a little rubber hose on each one. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to do, there's uh, four, what is that, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them on this end, seven of them on that end. Three on the back, four on the front. So, anyway, that's what I'm planning on doing. One more little thing, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, keep safe, everybody. Don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.